When soil is disturbed on a construction site or any pollutants, they'll wash off the construction site and they'll travel into a gutter system, which is part of our sewer system, and into a pipe network. That does not go into a treatment plant. That flows directly into our lakes and rivers. So we want to make sure that we have some way to stop the pollutants if they get into this gutter system. So keeping our storm sewer system clean of these debris, we need inlet protection. One thing is where we have these catch basin inlets, this is an opportunity to put some kind of a barrier here to stop the pollutants from getting in there. This is an example of one. This is a Urtec product. Uh, the nice thing is this zip ties to the top so you don't actually have to lift the grate off to get inside of there. This has an emergency overflow in the back that if we get a large storm event, the, the higher flow will bypass this and keep our streets safe to the public. There's a lot of alternatives for us. Another product here, similar, this one also sits on the surface and it has these similar zip ties that uh, attach it to the surface of the grate. Um, other products are meant to go underneath the grate. This is an example that would go in a similar spot, except you take the, the, the grate or the casting off, set this down inside. This will give you a backstop protection. This basket will sit below the surface of the roadway to give us some capture of the sediment and storage of the sediment, yet it still has some emergency overflow and a big storm event. So all of this part here, of course, is not visible. Typically, it's below the, the road surface. Other surface alternatives, um, Urtec has other varieties depending on your, your manhole or your casting shape, and then smaller square ones as well. So a lot of different products on the market depending on the type of inlet that you have, shapes and sizes, what kind of maintenance you want to do. So protecting inlets, sometimes people will try to put anything they can to block this, maybe a piece of silt fence. And the problem is that can be a maintenance nightmare and even a safety hazard. It's difficult to get access and it can cause flooding. It doesn't have a safety uh, overflow. If you try to maintain it, a lot of times the debris just goes down into the sewer as soon as you disturb it or try to access it. Inlet protection can work well, but only if it's maintained. A lot of these devices have different ways to maintain them. Uh, some can just be swept off the surface. Others need to be lifted out and removed. Although your site may be small, the cumulative impacts of pollutants from improperly managed construction sites contributes to the degradation of our lakes and streams. Do your part to keep the pollution on your site and out of our waters.